morning. Because it's afternoon here, so I know it's morning in the USA. Um, I don't know what time the search begins, but they said nine o'clock, and I said, so it might be half one, nine, one thirty, two o'clock our time, UK time. But there's a few things we can discuss before the search starts, right? Such as, Uh, hold on, I'm going to put it up on my Facebook because I did share it to my Facebook. Everything to my Facebook, so I know where it is then. Well, I say everything that's important. Right? Right. This is from one of the neighbours. As I say neighbours, this person lived where she could see the entrance of the road up to the bend of their road. So she's more like uh, that once road as you first turn into their, into their place and then their road's off it. So she's more like there. Sort of thing, from what I can imagine, right? Now I'm gonna pull this up so we can see it better. And hopefully zoom in. Right. Can you see that? Yes. Hi there, everyone from X. Good to see you on here. We're just going over a few things before the search start because I'm keeping an eye on JLR. You know, I've heard a lot of people say, oh, he's only out there for the views and the money and all that lot. He's not the only YouTuber out there. I've just been watching one now and it's on Justin on TikTok. And he, he was doing it on TikTok, but he's put it on his YouTube channel, obviously. So he's not the only one out there filming. But you see, the thing is, if it wasn't for JLR, we wouldn't know half of this, inf well, 90% of this information that's coming out. We really wouldn't. Anyway, this is from a neighbour that lives somewhere around by them. Right? It goes, Andrew acting is Zimmerman. I live in the neighbourhood. I wanted to confirm, confirm a couple of things I have seen posted today. I received a message on Thursday to watch their house as there could be law enforcement headed to their house. Where is my house located? I cannot see the front door of the house, but I have a clear view of the entrance into our neighbourhood and into Stafford Court. I also have friends over there that I reached out to. As we all began to watch, I could imagine them twi the curtain twitching, you know what I mean? We used to call them curtain twitches. I began to notice random SUVs driving up Kelly Lane, turn around in the Devon Cat, in, in the Devon Court, called the sack, go back down Kelly Lane, turning on Stafford Street, Court, then leave. And this happened several times. I noticed at least five plus SUVs doing this over about a 30 minute to an hour time span. It was very odd. I had a feeling something was up. I confirmed to the neighbour that at least two of these, right? I don't know if there's any more. I confirmed to the neighbour that at least two of these vehicles were in fact undercover. Agents. I was told two stopped at the house and went in. They were definitely surveilling them and what feels like the entire neighborhood. <laughs> I can also confirm Chris hooked his camper up to his truck, 
this afternoon and left. Yes, we've got a photo of that. It's on my Facebook page. Katie followed him. I have no idea where they went. Right? As of about two hours ago, neither have returned. Now, I'm wondering, has there been a death threat put on them? And please, the TBI found this out and have moved them. Because it's a bit odd, well, it isn't odd, but surely they know if the, some agents have turned up to their house and spoke to them and they was under suspicion, right? They're not going to let them just hook the camper up and drive away, are they? So I don't understand. But we'll find out more as it goes on. Hooked his camper up to his truck this afternoon and left. Katie followed him. I have no idea where they went. As of two hours ago, neither have returned. I would also like to add, unless you live here, you have no idea what we've been through. I don't, pardon me, I don't mean that selfishly. But if you are on the track that the prayer folks know what happened, you understand why I mean why I mean by this. We are a small neighbourhood that has always been very quiet. We've never been through anything like this. Well, no, a lot of neighbourhoods don't go through anything like this until it happens. This is shaking us to our core. We have felt safe up until now. We are all on edge. We don't know what happened in that house. The more I hear from good, reliable. Oh. Good reliable sources and the more I'm sick. If Sebastian was hurt in that house, that happened right under our noses and no one realised it. That's disgusting. The idea the proud for hurt that child in that house in our neighbourhood causes us a great deal of pain and unsettling. Well, to be honest with you, does anyone know, know what goes on behind closed doors? No. Unless you hear a lot of shouting and screaming and whatever. You're not going to know what's going, that anything is going on. Right? I meet with a few of our neighbours today. We all feel disgusted by what has happened and what may have happened. This has rocked us and changed how we feel now. We don't feel safe right now, especially, especially us women. I don't know. I don't think they've got anything to worry about because... This is a one off thing which was contained in the Proud Book Tone. It isn't as though they're going to go around attacking other women or anything like that. But then again, you don't know. If you say something out of place, he might just, you know what I mean? He seems that sort of guy. Because apparently his sister got into an argument with someone at work or a while ago, right, years ago, and the sister phoned him up. He's come down and threatened to drag this person out of this store and everything. So, just shows what he's like, he's willing to attack a woman. We don't feel right, safe right now, especially us women. As parents, we're sickened by this. Whatever happens, happens right around us. We are all sickened by this, by all of this. Mostly, we are heartbroken for Sebastian, Seth and his family. I kept out asking, how did we not know? Well, you wouldn't know. You can't blame yourselves, you know what I mean? You don't know what's going on behind closed doors. How could this have happened right here in front of us? And lastly, the rumour going around about someone in... Oh. Oh. And lastly, the rumour going around about someone in our neighbourhood having an affair with Katie. Just so you all know, none of us ever suspected that and have no idea who it is, while the ones I've spoken to had no idea. Right? Now, I'll be right back, I'll be right back. Someone's giving a lot like, tap on my door.
No one was here. Just being my imagination. Anyway, so no one knows what goes on behind closed doors. No one. And then we go. And the case of case of Navy. Right? Apparently they are searching, but they won't tell us where they're searching because they don't want the YouTubers, the TikTokers, and all that that there. They don't want outside volunteers there. And which I can understand that. Let them do the job as long as they are searching. But it would be nice if they gave them updates at the end of each day as to where they've searched, right? So at least then these volunteers who are searching in a different, totally different area will think, well, well, we've covered this area, we'll go and cover this area. Because if they know the Cajun army had been there, they won't need to go there. Right? So well, I hope they do give updates as to what they've been doing and where they've been. Just, just for the sake of these volunteers that are out there. Because they're out there every day. Well, I say every day. For the first first week, there was uh, only the uh, searches from TBI and all their organisations, right? Then after the first week, there was no searching, apart from the father and two friends. Two colleagues, right? And that went on for what three weeks, and then the other weekend, the other Friday, um, JLR did this live with him, where he was searching at this park area, and he went around with them, and the call for help was put out, and on the Saturday, loads of people turned up at that park where Cajun Navy was. Loads of people were out there searching, but because it's federal land where they were searching, right? Cajun, I thought Cajun Navy was part of the forces, but it isn't my misunderstanding. It is a voluntary group organization, right? So they obviously didn't get the permission they needed to go there, right? And because where they were searching, it, there was a lot of tree damage, falling trees, everything. Quite hazardous, to be honest with you. Really quite hazardous. So they were told after, this only came after one of their dogs Hit on the spot. Right? And after that, they then got a phone call saying they was on federal property, which was closed to the public through storm damage, because there was a lot of storm damage, and they should not be there. So everyone was kicked out. out. But then the police didn't go there. No one from TBI went there to check these spots. This spot, no one. Apparently, the police said where whatever they come across didn't. Oh, what was the word in they used? I can't think. What they sort of like said whatever they found has got nothing to do with Sebastian Rogers. How can they say that? Unless they know something else. Unless they know something else. How can they say that? So, then my mind's thinking, well, and a lot of others were thinking on the side path, believe it or not. What if, when they went to that landfill, right, they were supposed to go back the second day, but they didn't. Because the first day they was there, a dog hit on something, right? Did they find something there to tell them more about Sebastian Rogers? 
Okay. So, and that's why they know wherever, whatever we find, these searches find, is nothing to do with Sebastian Rogers. Because why would you just, oh no, got nothing to do with Sebastian Rogers. Why would you just knock that out? You wouldn't, would you? You'd go and have a look, you'd go and check it. Right? Any tip is a t should be followed up on. As they said, all tips will are and will be followed up on. That was one hell of a tip, and I didn't follow up on it. So I think they filled the case of Navy in on me, but why won't they fill the father in on this? He's out there every day, boots on ground. He's got blisters all over his feet. He's done damage to his shoulder. He's in pain. He's not eating properly. He's not sleeping. You know what I mean? Just tell the father. But I'm hoping within the next few days something will come out. Because I don't know, it just seems a bit odd that apparently two undercover agents went to their home. And then literally, I was like, and they're hooking the trailer up, right, and leaving. Why? I just don't understand that. Why would they let them leave? But all through this investigation, all through these searches, what did they say? Oh, we've been told to stay at home. We've been told to stay at home. We can't go to vigils. We've been told to stay at home. We can't go on searches. We've been told to stay at home. And then all of a sudden, these two undercover agents turn up at their house. And they literally, within two hours, hooked their, their, tra their trailer up. And they're gone. Now, they're supposed to be doing a Nancy, going on Nancy Grace today. Whether that happens, I don't know. Will he stand them up? We don't know. But Nancy Grace, if they do, Nancy Grace won't stand for none of his BS. So um, when that comes on, if it comes on while I'm on, while this live is going, because I'll keep this live going all the way through the search. If it's four hours, it's four hours. I'll keep the live going. Right? So... Anyway, I'm just having a look now to see if anything's coming up. Did anyone see that ever live last yesterday? Right? With John uh, JLR. Right? That is heartbreaking. In fact, I have that here. Oh, where is it? So much come out last night that my uh, this is it. Right. Yeah, Lauren Vesta, it's back at the scene. I am live uh, doing a search on this property here. The property owner um, just let Seth Rogers in search. The rest of the search volunteers. A big group here and ready to go in and look for the last set of groups and document and tag along. This is hard. Like, now we had our reception. We, we go to reimburse this building here. Good. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, I'm going to fast forward. You can get the mic to the battery and keep the mic. Okay. Like a broken window, anything that looks like it might have been a force entry. 
because if he got cold and he broke something to get in, that was the weather. Couldn't fall. Not paying for the damage. <laughs> so, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so we're going to go around the building. I appreciate this guy with the air, mate. So the owner here gave permission to look around the building. He actually let us in the gate here. Looking for anything, any signs of fourth century. I'm gonna go back this way. Go on this other side here. See what's going on. So just so we know what's going on, search continues for Sebastian. Uh, we are at this gigantic uh, Magnolia. What is the name of this business? It's called, uh, I think it's like Marine something. Uh, I can follow you guys. Sebastian! It is dark. Dark in here. He didn't call it, so. He didn't call it. It's like me, yes. Really good. Everybody, please be careful. It's dark in there, but they've got torches, but they've just got to be careful where they stay. Sorry, my internet changed up again. Again.
Thank you all for being here today with me. This is an early world. Awesome, thank you, sir. We have all these big buildings and all this massive forest and land that is land they've got to go. And I think the press has got to be put up some of the country police and the CPRs. We cannot let this just drop. So I'm hoping Kays and Navy are doing this. And I'm hoping we will get updates about it. And from what I heard today on one from the TikTok app, which is going to be on YouTube, a woman said, Seth, the father, was told he could be too hard to on the federal land. He didn't say how many people he can bring in in those two cars. But he's got like a truck, hasn't he? You could get quite a few people in that truck. So, Jim said, Are you going to go to the hospital? I'm going to go He me when I hear him call, call his name call his name. All right, following what's going on here. You just keep expecting to see Sebastian walk out of the bushes or something, you know what I mean? I'll tell you that can happen. Yeah. 
Well, nobody's telling me what they're going to do with this guy. Look how massive this building is. It's huge. It's huge. They were just going through were as we were yeah, following really well. Seth Rogers, Sebastian's father, calling for Sebastian. No. It's a massive amount of property here. Uh, the owner let everyone in to search, you know. This is the general area where everybody's been at all day long. And this was one spot they wanted to at least look. Some people in the woods over there. So it looks like we're going to come back out tomorrow. We're coming back out tomorrow, folks. Yeah, that's why I wanted to get down there. Let me tell you how you're coming. Do you want to actually this with there some love? Again, if you're a volunteer in the area and you want to come out and help, please. If you're in the Hendersonville area, Sumner County, Nashville, anywhere, you want to help, come help. Come help this father trying to find his son. He's been like he 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 the time he I've been here every single day. Every single day he's been here. Trying to find his son. All three. But more importantly, share this video. Get this video. I know it's very sad. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm trying not to be emotional here. I really am not. I, he's right been right here every single day trying to find Sebastian. Sprained his arm. The blisters on his feet. And he has a lot of support. He has a lot of support. He has a lot of support. He has, support. He has me supporting him for sure. And a lot of you. I read your comments. He sees your comments. We all are watching. Hopefully, law enforcement is also watching. I hope they are. He is going every nook and cranny. And the searchers here and the volunteers. Every nook and cranny. He wants to find his son. The shoulder certain. This is the GoFundMe. 
So let's watch it. You have the sky out there, okay? It started out there, it was just a $15,000 gold. But then probably up that again, as that gets near that $15,000, then might up it again. I do keep sharing now. So I said he's going to be back out here tomorrow. Yeah, that's what we're waiting for. Or something. Checking YouTube to make sure things are You put the his cash app. He has a cash app, and I've never done this before on JLR Investigates ever by promoting someone's cash app. But this is one exception. Uh, please help this guy if you can. He has taken off work. He's law enforcement, works in corrections, and has taken off work solely to keep finding his son. I say this. He is genuinely looking for his son. The only cash up I will say, I don't even have a cash up myself. I don't even put my own PayPal account in. But I will do his for him. I can get through this. And right there to the right of Seth is uh, Mr. Jones, who is by his site searching. Yeah. They both work together, corrections, uh, law enforcement. I'll be trying to get something, something to give them a side of the back door. Any side.
This is a reply from last night, by the way. I'm waiting for the Lord to come on. Uh, the stage it started at half at 9 p.m. a.m. their time. And when I Googled it, because I'm from the UK, it said like 1 30 or 2 p.m. Let me check again. Is Kenny Steele in, yes? In Nashville. Right. What from um, UK? Okay. If it's AKM in Tennessee, yeah? Indeed. AKM in the Nashville, Tennessee, USA is 1300 carriage. So 830 would be 130. So 9 o'clock is 2 p.m. So I'm just keeping an eye on and getting all my updates, everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We'll be back out here tomorrow. We don't find anything today. Thank you. This black, the gorgeous and beautiful form of Sebastian, son. This is going to break him when they find him. That's why I hope to God teach it. If anything has come to this little boy. Right. Uh, pin it's comment it's if you want to help Seth uh, Rogers anyway. He has a cash app. We pinned his cash app. Uh, he has taken off work to find his. He is searching. Been searching every day. So then it goes right for I'll his I'll son. Nice to see you in here, though, next week, yeah. Been out here hours, almost five, six hours today. I believe it's at the same place where they are now. <coughs> well, I'll find out for you. I'll read one of these videos. I don't have to be able to get close to where they are now. And it hasn't been pulled off. <coughs> they are still out there searching. Still, occasionally, maybe, the that organisation. 
guy out the guy uh, next to Seth right here, he owns the property. So I he's got like everybody uh, I said, not come on to the property that here that to that search. That one TikTok is that that here. So it has not been called up, it's supposed to be on. Um, let's scattered all over the woods. search for Rogers. JLR investigates out here in Hendersonville, Tennessee. A new search location just searched a giant well -tooth. No signs of Sebastian yet. Thank 
Oh. Sorry, I'm trying to sort this out. I'm not going to get the right. For some reason, it's not where okay, it's going to be a on. I'm going to have to log out my computer in the chat. No. Dr. Amy, prayers for Sebastian and all the searchers. Thank you, JLR, for your inspirational mission. I want to give a uh, voice to the voices. Stay safe, my friends. Nice, nice to see you, Dr. Amy. And thank you for sharing. We're going to have to talk later, Dr. Amy. You know, I don't do that, everyone. I really am. All right, so they're, they're anything unusual, they're just picking up gloves. Is that better? Well, this is area still, folks. Henderson Village is pretty much what this area looks like. It's this is a uh, Pretty treacherous terrain. Seth is up there. Um, you know, he can only hurt. He's really hurt. His shoulders hurting. His listers. He can go so far. Like he goes as far as his passion, and then the volunteers kind of take over the rest and go really deep in. But I've seen Seth go through the woods. I've seen him days ago in Natchez Slate State Park. He's tired, man, and you know. People close to him have told me that he hardly had any sleep. Also, you know, he's, he's you know, an emotional mess. Can't blame him, right? His son's missed. His son was going to live with him. He's been out here searching for answers. We said on the last slide, the Proudfoot haven't been even out here at all.
and then like we laptop because to start working again and the night work again and get to the team get to it. People up in the woods up there too. In the distance, where is it at? Looking in the similar yard, get up. There's people in the woods calling for Sebastian. Where are you, Sebastian? Oh, it's muddy. Really muddy. Yeah. I just stepped in it. Yeah. I had to buy myself some new boots. Oh, uh, clean these off. Oh, man. That's tough. I went like right in mud. Who is this one here? Now? The two two three two Gallatin Pike. Okay. okay, hold on one second. Just put Walmart two two three two Gallatin Pike in. You should hit it. See if that's closer to you. I suppose I can just take Walmart. Uh, Gallatin Pike. Uh, it's not coming up in my searches for auto. Hold on. I gotta pull over again. <laughs> no, we are not gonna have another Fifty Shades of Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> It's a good thing it's not Halloween because then I'd get requests for the Spidey suit. Yeah, the tights and all. And I might actually do this. But, all right. <laughs> I mean, what, what is, what's the address again? 2232 two, Gallatin Pike. And it's, there it's we go. double L Gallatin. Madison is in Madison. That says six. Yes, that is a lot closer. Thank you. Yes. Okay. All right. Back on the road. I'm sorry, lady. Damn, I'm in a fucking parking spot. Quit giving me that fucking look. You know what I'm saying? I'm in a parking spot, yo. Don't give me that damn look because you can't. Don't give me that damn look because you can't turn around from a gas pump, motherfucker. Not my fault. Learn how to pull out of a gas pump. I don't know where they are. You're getting feisty, CJ. <laughs> No, I just, I, I, you know me and bullshit. You, you know, no, I have too much bullshit in the morning and then I get feisty. All right. All we know so far is they had, from what the neighbor was saying and from what people said, seen them wrong, two undercover agents or whatever went to their home, right? And within two hours, they packed that trailer van up, hooked it up to the back of his van, his truck, and he drove off with the trailer van and she followed in her white car. Check Google for photos of previous photos posted where they generally camp. I don't know if they would just take it to somewhere where they normally camp. They're going to take it somewhere 
people are going to be thinking of. Well, that's the way I would be thinking. You know what I mean? I've got my favourite places that I, I like to go. But if I was going to get rid of something, that is furthest from my mind. I'd be going, where would they not be thinking? You know what I mean? Where would they not be thinking to look? But they're at Gallatin or Gallatin Pike. They're trying to get this guy, give this guy directions there now. And this isn't JLR, this is, hold on. This is CJ's crime, right? So, he's making his way there now. But I'll keep an eye on for, you heard the parents are going to see Nancy Grace, is that right, or are people just better? No. Right? No. They are supposed to be doing, going, chatting, they are supposed to be doing a live or something with Nancy Grace today. Right? But they don't go to her, because I believe she does all her recordings from a studio in her home. You can do a recording like we do on lives, right? Where they can go on a, a webcam, whatever, and be there and they can be sitting at home while talking to Nancy Grace. They don't have to up and go anywhere. They can sit at home. They get given a link. They log into that link. I was taken to another country, but he took me to his biological mother's home. Now, personally, I'm still at that house. I have not left their house. I really haven't. Because something went on in that house, and I don't believe for one minute he walked out that house. I don't believe it for one minute. But they do, as I said about Nancy Grace, they do it like a, a webcam thing. Like we do with live, uh, if you come on a live, on a YouTuber's live. That's how they do it. They get sent a link, they click on that link, they go, and it takes them to where they've got to go. They can stay at home and do that interview. And this is one interview. I don't want to miss because if they do turn up and they do do the live, right? She's not going to stand for any of these BS. You know what I mean? Because the last time, when the father sat on the interview, they did invite Katie on because they just wanted the bio parents on. But apparently, they said they got in touch with Nancy Grace, but Nancy Grace never got back in touch with them, right? Lie. The Nancy Grace team, and like, she had some brilliant researchers, brilliant researchers, said we did get in touch with them, they didn't get back to us. And that was because they only wanted Katie and not that piece of shit she's married to so hopefully they'll do this interview and hopefully Nancy Grace will tear them apart Alana Morris that comment I was taking to another was you kidnapped then? Sorry to hear that. Hello, Melinda. Yeah, they are supposed to be doing an Nancy Grace. And believe me, you don't want to miss that interview. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, Nancy will be hot on the stepdad's heel. 
Oh, and there's something else I want to show you before we go get onto this search. Where did I put it? It's on YouTube, is it? Yes. So I've got to open YouTube up again. So look. I can get to it. Uh, it's only... And why was it now? Let's have a look. Oh, good sake. It's in my notifications, so... Uh, uh, Jolly Vision is on his way down there. Right, this is about the snake. Now, oh, this mouse is so annoying. This, do you remember that where they said they gave the snake to a friend who was looking after the snake for them? And if Sebastian wants to go and see the snake, he can go any time he wants. Just let them know. Right? That's a load of crock. A load of BS. Again. Fuck that. Do they not know how to tell the truth, these two? Right? So, I'll just make sure it's up there. Yeah. This is from Evil Exists. And it's about the snake. Okay? I'll put evil exists in the description. Please go over there and subscribe. Oh, I'm going to tell it's on. Chris Willis <laughs> said to us, stating he gave it to a friend and Sebastian could visit, etc. I can't imagine how upset he was when his snake was given away. The picture of him holding the snake warms my heart. He looks so happy and proud. Well, the new owners of Sebastian's snake have spoken out, and I feel very upset reading this. This person posted a picture of Sebastian's snake and said that they can confirm they have the snake called Brownie. She is well taken care of and they are holding on to hope that they can return her to Sebastian. She also wants to make clear that there was never a conversation between Chris Proudfoot and her husband about them getting the snakes back. They run a business and many of the snakes that Chris Proudfoot gave them would be listed for sale and her husband would get those profits. The snakes were given back in August, and there was no conversation about them holding on to Sebastian's snake so that he could get them back someday. The only reason her husband knew the snake was special to Sebastian is because Sebastian said so himself. Her husband asked why doesn't Sebastian, why doesn't Sebastian keep that one? He looked at his mother, Katie, and she said no. They've never reached out on Sebastian's behalf once to visit the snake or for pictures, an update or anything. This is very worrying. Sebastian obviously loves that snake, and I can't believe they would rip away his pet like this. Was he taught to properly care for it? Couldn't they help him? I mean, I wouldn't expect a child to care for an animal by themselves anyway. It's a lot of responsibility. This whole situation just saddens me. Really seems like such drastic punishment all the time. Right, yeah. Hang on, I've got to stop this. Now, that was coming from the guy who they gave the, the, the highly impulsive, but I don't think he was kidnapped. No, I, I, I don't believe he was kidnapped. I don't even believe he walked out that house. Right? Because you think of it. The father has said that his shoes are by the doorway, by the front door. That's where everyone leaves their shoes, so that they take them off there, they put them on there, walk out the house. Right? So, why would he walk out the house? He must have seen his shoes there. He'd see his shoes there. Plus, he, would, he never went outside without shoes on. His dad said sometimes, if he's nip, just snipping out to the letterbox, the postbox, or to put rubbish in the bin, he put slippers on rather than have to put socks on and then his shoes, his trainers on. So he put slippers on. He never went outside barefoot because of that, uh, what was he? Uh, fire ant that he stood in when he was a child. Ex no, exactly. Only true crime. I said this. 
right? By saying that, they've now extended, like, the time gap. Before it was 12 till 6, now it's 10 till 6. And why on earth did she not go and check on me if she heard something? She's in the house on her own. There's no way I'd be sitting there going, if you don't be out on, you should be in bed, I'd be up. I have my grandkids once a fortnight, and when I hear something, I'm up. Why? Sometimes he's messing about with something in my bedroom, because sometimes it might be in my bed, sometimes he'll be in his own bed. Why? But I, if I hear, like, it's known to fall out of my bed. <laughs> my grandson is falling out of my bed. I, I've lost count how many times he fell out of my bed. But I say, look closer to the home, yes. And someone else said that one of the um, unanswered grace. She said, he said they need to look closer to home again. Right? They all have their ways of coping with everyday situations. Yes, they, 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 there's not one autistic child the same. So it all needs to be literally for thoroughly checked every inch of it. So, but it's the fact that she said in the very first interview, I went to bed nine o'clock, right, uh, without any trouble, and she gave that little <laughs> giggle. Now, I can understand that most my grandson. He's, he hasn't been diagnosed with autist, autism, right? But he's on the waiting list to be assessed. And he shows so many... When they talked about their son, about Sebastian, the first interview, I sat here listening to it and I saw... Sort of, way to go. Is he independent, Alana? Is he independent? Can you do things himself? The high functioning because these children they are so clever so clever they pick up on something and their whole focus is that one thing hi victoria burgess good morning here you're welcome no they don't i've heard that they don't go out their comfort zones not willingly. Like here at mine, his comfort zone is either my bedroom or his bed or their bedroom. I've got a second bedroom for my grandkids and I've got bunk beds in there. Now, nine times out of ten, he'll go in my room. But if he messes my room up, right, he'll then go into his their room where it's all nice and tidy. And I think if you don't like mess, why mess up? Because he will literally, he kicks off my duvet covers off my bed. I have had numerous times where he's pushed my uh, mattress off the bed. And my mattress is really heavy and I have trouble now lifting up. Since the operation I had like two years ago. So, yeah, two years ago, 2022. Yeah, two years ago now. Since the operation I had two years ago, I've lost all the strength really in my one arm. And I find it really hard to lift this mattress up on my own and get it back up on the bed. But he, he does do that. And then he'll go into his room, which is nice and tidy. So I know as soon as he goes in his room, he's done some something in my room he shouldn't have done. Yeah, she is. She shouldn't. Why on earth would you let another man, another man hit your child? Yeah. He was smart. I agree. Taking a snake was cool because. As I said, did they actually take the time 
to work with him on how to look after this snake, right? Now, as I said in one, on one of my lives, when with a snake, with any animal, right? You can't just say, well, there's your snake, you take care of it, it's got to be cleaned, it's got to be fed, and all that long. You've got to work with any child, right? Even, I, I should imagine a 15-year-old with normal capacity, you could say, look, you, you do understand that with the snake, you've got to clean it, that means getting all that, whatever, the sawdust, whatever it is that you have as a base. You've got to take the dead skin out, you've got to make sure there's water there, and you've got to feed them. And do you know how to feed them? My son has a snake, and he buys mice, and he keeps them in a container in the freezer. Right? And what he does, he'll take one snake out and put it in another container or a bag and let it defrost. And I know he used to at one time, at one time, once it had defrosted, he put it in hot water before putting it in the tank, the snake cage. Right? So the heat would radiate from the mouse. So the snake would see that heat. Yeah? So I think he still does it now because otherwise the, the, it will be cold and the snake won't see cold. They see heat. I see the stepfather being the main cause. He's nasty. There's, there's no emotion, but mommy's starting to... I've said that. Mommy's starting to cave. She's starting to cave. Keep the pressure on the mom. She'll cave. She'll cave. Then when, someone said they thought the stepfather would have caved. No, no. It's a narcissist. It's a control freak. He's not going to cave. That's why he worked. Uh, they didn't do that Nancy Grace interview the first time because he wasn't invited. His fifth, this is his fifth marriage, Melinda. It's his fifth marriage. And how old is he he's in his war? That says a lot about some guy who's now on his fifth marriage, yeah? Fifth marriage. Can you believe that? Um, one marriage was enough for me. I was married once. Right? We split up, we separated, and then sadly my my late husband died. But there's no way I'd go through that process again. No way. Not in this earth would I go through all that again. So it says a lot about someone's character. Fifth marriage. Step in palsy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But, and that child support thing, hold on. Let me just see, oh God, get back up there. Oh. The child support thing with his ex-wife, seven years this has been going on. Right? Seven years? How long does a child custody battle take? So much off on that. So much is truly icky, as I say, icky, not good. So... Good one, Melinda. Is it because the reason you got that married was because you was happy in the relationship as you were? Or you was just had that feeling of, I've been there, don't want to do that again? Didn't know that, Al Alana. Right. 
I was with a guy, right? And he was always threatening suicide, right? And he left me. He went, he walked out and left. He come back. And while he was gone, I rearranged the bedroom. And I had this, like, table in front of the bay window, right? Now, I'd already been to the doctors and I was speaking to the doctors about him and everything. And um, she said, you know, call his bluff, call his bluff. So he come out, he come back this one time and he seen what I've done. He said, what's the cable there for? I said, because I want it there. But I can jump out the window easy in that way, that way. I said, go ahead, do it. You know what I did? Walked away. I called his bluff. Because I knew by his voice, the tone of his voice, he didn't mean. Well, fair enough, I'm in that. Fair enough. What? Fix something if it isn't broken. Exactly. Yeah. Alan, I think that. But I've heard so much about the mother as well. I've heard the mother is a can get really angry when she has a drink. And she's a black belt. And whatever. She knows that she, she was in the Navy. She knows how to look after herself. And Sebastian did have this, I heard, where he had some sort of fluid on the brain. Or somewhere, somewhere on his brain, he had some sort of fluid. And if he got hit but on that part of the brain, it would kill him. I don't know who took, the guy who took me was highly impulsive and committed. Hmm. You no, know, I just called this, this guy I was with, called his bluff. I thought, no, I'm not going to change everything just to suit you. Because... That was him. It was do it my way or no way, right? He's really nice at first, and then he's after about a year, it just starts to change. And by then, my kids had come up from England because the father had died. My kids had come up to Scotland to me, and I wasn't having that around him. I wasn't having that behaviour around him. Morning, MG. I believe Mum is being manipulated by Skip, but she wants to sleep with work so he gets caught. In a way, yes, and in a way, no. Because why did she say the other night on Smiley's live when people was going on about the bout incident? Why? Why did she sit there and say, and no, I don't let my husband hit my son with the belt, right? Then literally half an hour later, he turned around and said, yes, I've, hit, I've gave him a whip of the belt, a flick of the belt or something. She was lying for him. She was standing up for him. She didn't have, have to say that, but she did. And then he's come out with, yeah, I'll take it, use the belt on him. So she's just as bad in one way. So I'm keeping an eye on, if anyone hears anything about YouTube, anything on YouTube about anything, I'm keeping an eye on it. But nothing's come on yet. Nothing has come on yet about this. And I am searching all over YouTube. Come on. This mouse is like a ring. I'll give you what I'll it's like, This mouse I've got is a cordless one. And you know when you've gone into supermarkets and you just get that trolley where the wheels want to go one way, but you want to go another, yeah? And you're fighting with that trolley all the way around the flipping store. This is that, man. No, there's nothing still. So I don't know what's happening. I don't know if he's going to do a live or if he'll just put it as a recording now, but he said he was going live today when they went on. When they went, did the search, he was going to go live. You see, I grew up in an era, okay, 
where if if we is like playing and we did something wrong, our neighbours will tell us off, right? If we came back and our neighbours were at that time give us a clip round the ear, right? If we came back home and said, Mom, such and such just clipped me round the ear, my mum would go, you obviously and clip us again, you obviously deserved it. And that's the invite how we grew up. So I see my two brothers arguing once in the hallway. And I was coming down the stairs. And they've been arguing for a while and I'm for oh god, I've got to go out as well. How am I going to get past these two? You know what I mean? I've got to get past my two brothers who were arguing in the hallway. And as I've come down the stairs, my mum's come out of the kitchen and she's got these two sleeping grabby carving knives, right? Gave one to each of my brothers and said, if you're going to kill each other, do it properly. Right? She, they just stood there, looking at these knives, walked away, put the knives down and walked away. I'm sitting there, I'm standing there on the stairs going, oh my God, it's going to be a bloodbath here. Yes, thank you everyone for being here. I'm using, uh, I've got eight, two, four, I'll go, go something, yeah. But 13 in chat, yes, please come along and say on Twitter, give this video a heart, leave us a comment on there. Please like this video, share this video, it really does. Thank you, MG. Please consider subscribing. It would really help. I'd really appreciate you all if you all subscribe. Uh, I, but I am keeping an eye on... I don't know what this guy's doing here in this shop. I don't know. But I am keeping an eye on YouTube and nothing's coming up. I'll punch it in. Yeah, uh, uh, This half of my spouse thing is right, wouldn't you? Uh, No, that's still showing the one from the last one you did last night. Did you see that one, MG? Yes, uh, Dolly Vision is on his way down there to do help with the search. Yeah, that's the last time I saw he was on a plane. Oh, yeah, she will. If they get caught, if this comes out that they're involved, she's going to point the finger at him. And I'm sorry, but then again, they might make a deal with her to get him to, so that they can say, right, well, we've got definite proof, uh, information that he was involved in this. You know what I mean? So... But I just feel so bad for the father. But MG, if you haven't seen the last video, JLR put up, it's, got, it's just got titled uh, Live Dad's Search. His Dad's Search, right? And it's heartbreaking, that is. That is heartbreaking. If you haven't seen it, there it is on screen, right? This one here. I have played that today some of you have seen it in here but yeah that is so heartbreaking that one is but please sub up give this video a like and come and say hello i love seeing all these new new names coming up yeah 
If you're on Twitter, please think about coming over to YouTube and some and follow me on YouTube. Because like I said, not all my cases are gonna be streamed straight onto Twitter. Right? So I thought you'd get some rest anyway, MG. Hello? So, um, I'm looking, I'm looking to see if anything's coming up. Yeah, I love Bullhorn Betty, right? We're going to watch a bit of hers. I'll put a link in the description. Please go over and subscribe to her. Well, good morning, my beautiful people of TikTok. It's nice to see you this morning. I figured I'd come on live here before I went live on YouTube to give you guys the breaking daily updates. This is sponsored by our subscribers here on the Bullhorn Betty channel here on TikTok. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like, share, hit the notification button, and of course, talk about this case because this is about a 15-year-old boy, Sebastian Rogers. But before we get into that, I want to make sure that I don't know why this does this. Hold on a second. Let me see what I can do here. I don't know why it does this. Somebody must be here bright and early this morning. It's probably coffee. <laughs> My fans, they send me coffee first thing in the morning some days. Anyways, we're going to be talking about the daily um, updates. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. Somebody did bring me some breakfast. Breakfast and uh, coffee. Coffee, coffee, and more coffee. Holy crap. Whoever did that, thank you. <laughs> all right, guys, we'll get started in just a second. Let me get all my coffee off the ground. It's got to be the people from the coffee club on YouTube. <laughs> they love me. Coffee has been served. Coffee has been served. I don't know who the lucky person is I need to thank. Well, actually, I'm the lucky person, but I don't know who the person is I need to thank. So what a beautiful, what beautiful people. Um, anyways, getting back to these cases, I'm just going to put this down just so there we go. I don't know why it doesn't give me my green screen options, but I'm going to go through a bunch of stuff here with you guys real quick. Elijah Vu, Elijah Vu. He's our three-year-old from Two Rivers, Wisconsin. Um, he hasn't been seen or heard. His mom and her boyfriend, her mo his mom, Katrina Bauer, and her boyfriend, Jesse Vang, are behind bars at this moment. They're not telling anybody anything related to what happened. They've lawyered up. They're not cooperative. And this boy has been missing for weeks. The uh, searchers are keeping up the hope. They keep going out there. Um, they had, Jesse Vang had, or Katrina Bauer had a um, hearing a day or two ago. Let's go past this. I am covering and when you come in and you tell everybody to stand down that we're going to be taking over like I, I i don't i don't play those pissing contests with anybody i'll do as i damn well please i'm going out there to do my own search efforts i don't ask anybody for permission i'm exactly they're telling the case and i are telling all the searchers to stand down and let them get on with the, the search themselves what's wrong with someone searching in one area away from away from where they are a nice search in another area. You know what I mean? What's wrong with that? Particular thing. And of course, this is the boy that's been missing, a 15-year-old autistic boy, Sebastian uh, Rogers. And uh, his parents are acting very peculiar. They've changed their story. They've changed the timeline. They've added a third person. Um, then they uh, went out there while everybody else is searching and decides to threaten Seth Rogers about the GoFundMe. We believe that he's the one that was bitching about the federal property and got the searchers kicked off. And it is that wouldn't surprise me if it was he. A man that says he cares about um, 
you know, Sebastian and he wants to know the whereabouts and he's been asking for all social media to come out there and help and assist, um, assist, right? Uh, Debbie, thank you. God bless you. I usually don't come on this early, but you know what? I, I, I noticed that TikTok's like dead in the mornings. So why not talk about true crime, right? Um, so it, I, I'm coffee and true crime all day long, you know? And uh, it's really not, for me, it's not true crime. It's advocation for these uh, people. I know for the audience, it's, you know, um, a, a puzzle. I know that for the audience, it's, you know, entertainment in part. And I get that. Uh, but I know that you guys are supporting, um, you know, good causes and you really want to see these 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 kids cases solved. So it's it's one of those things where we just do our best and try to get as much information out there and try to get as much audience support and, and help in um, getting these faces and names out there. That's really the name of the game. Um, but he's been missing for a long time. And then the mom and father literally drive off, dude. Like they pack up their, their, um, the RV and attach it, the fifth wheel and attach it to his truck. And they take off right in the middle of searching like the mother. And I can't stress this enough because I don't know what audience. I know what parent they said in that first interview or was it the second interview? The door is always open. We're waiting for you to walk through that door again. Uh, the doors aren't open now, are they? You've shut them down. And you jumped in your cars and off you go. You ran from Dodge City. Something happened, and I hope the police are watching this because something happened because some, they had two agents, or two people went to their home yesterday, or was it the day before? Right? And they was talking to them, don't know what about, right? And then literally two hours later, after they left, two hours later, that van had been packed up, hooked up, and away they went. So why? That doesn't make sense to me. Nice to see you, Nilo Pam. Please, everyone who's in here, please give this a like. We need to, to get this information about Sebastian out there. I'm not going to focus entirely on the parent because karma, I love that karma. I love the thing about karma. It will come round and it will smack them both straight in the face. Because if they are telling the truth, why have they added to their story? If you tell the truth, you don't add to your story. You stick to your story. But she hasn't. She's been adding every time they've done a live. She's been adding. And this is why I want to watch this interview with Nancy Grace today. Because I want to see, A, if they turn up. And God help them if they don't turn up because Nancy Grace will rip them to bits. If they don't turn up. And B, will they add anything to their story? I've just spoke about that snake incident. That guy feels really bad about that snake incident. And that's why he hasn't solved it yet. He's just hoping to get it back to Sebastian. But all those other snakes that was given to him are on the condition that he was not going to sell them. He's got a business. He can't keep snakes. They, can't, they work out a lot of money. If you've got so many snakes, they work. It's quite expensive to keep a snake. So, oh, I'll get all just some lunch. So, I think he'll hold on to that snake before before anything. See what happens. You know what I mean? So, but he said there's nothing written down in paper nothing said that they would that could you keep the snake just for a short while and they said it themselves did they take the time out to show him how to look after this snake or did they just say well there's the snake there's the tank you've got to empty clean it every week feed it every week which you don't have to feed the snake every week I don't know, Bob. I really don't know. 
I don't know what's happening with the summoner police. I'm just curious as to why they thought that where that dog hit on. Just watch yourself, MG. I just think that why they didn't go to that spot where that diver uh, came on hit the other day. I it's on federal land, but I'm sure if it anything on there obtained to the disappearance of Sebastian, the federal federal or police or whoever, I'm not going to stop them from going on. In fact, they would go on and do the search and whatever. But they didn't. No one went back to it. They was all kicked off. Bum, up we got to get. We're trespassing. Bum, bum, bum. We've got to get off. But it's funny how that came across after they found, after the dogs hit on that spot. Yeah, but do we know that? Because someone I've also heard that when he went to work, if he went to work and he's doing long distance work, when he's driving back to his work, he would phone his wife at home and talk to her while he's driving down there. Uh huh. So was he at work that night or did he leave at half nine? And that's when the phone call started. It's weird. It's too many red flags coming up. Way too many. And we've got to keep crossing these red flags off. To clear their names, you've got to, they've got to get these red flags crossed off. So, well, someone's messaging me on Facebook. Let's have a look. Oh, God, it's so I keep doing it again. Um, let's go. Notifications, let's see. No, I'm not interested in that. Thank you, Victoria, for subscribing. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Thank you very much for subscribing. But please, if everyone in the chat just subscribe, it would really help my channel. It is a new channel, and I, I'm working very hard. I didn't realise how much work it took to do a flipping live. Trying to get all this information and going on to different apps and different sites and everything to get this information out there. I'll try, Bob. I will try. I'm really sorry. I'll try. But thank you. I will try. I was just that sometimes when I get excited about something, we tend to speak that bit quicker. I'm sorry, but if you're having trouble, you can go and click on in the description area or somewhere around there. You should be able to click on transcript and it'll pull up the transcript as I'm talking. It will type it as I'm talking or you should be able to use the subtitles if that's any help to you. But please, I'm sorry about that. I will try and talk a little bit slower. You think I talk quick? You want to hear some of these people up here in Scotland? But I do. I definitely agree that I've got to search, look at that house again because something happened in that house. And did you notice? Hold on. I'll see if I can pull it up on my Facebook. Oh, God. I'll see if I can pull it up on my Facebook. I've got it on my Facebook, so. And this is what I, I 
seeing this notices. Put Yamp County, Tennessee corruption. Right? And here it is. Right? Just checking, see, yes, yeah, that. Right? Does anyone notice anything about that house? Apart from their trailer not being there. Right? I do. Straight away I noticed it on this picture. One, two, three, four. They've got the lights on, the outside lights are on. And something I missed. No, I'm just, I will not become involved in any drama, any drama at all. If anyone comes on my chat with drama, I don't want to know. <laughs> I don't want to know. Right? But see the lights on. Oh, well. But the night Sebastian went missing, they said the lights weren't on. But we know these lights were on because it shows up in that um, video. Because they're, where they're showing on that picture, they were over this way a bit. Right? And you can see the light, the back light here is on. But I'll show you something else as well. Uh, let me zoom in, let me zoom in, let me zoom in, let me zoom in, it's going to look mad. What's this here? Come on. What's that there? It's a camera. So why wasn't that on that night? If she was living in that house, Staying in that house with just her and her grandson, would you not have all your security systems set? Your cameras working, your alarms all set. I know I would be. There's no way I'm living a house on my own with a child without any security system. So, oh my God. I'm trying to find something to eat on my takeouts. Easter bun, full pack, no. Who's looking forward to Easter? Do you have Easter the same time as us in the UK? It's our Easter weekend next weekend, you see. Is it Easter weekend for you? Um... Apparently, that's what the step, uh, the bio dad was doing. He was working his way down that route at some point. And from what I heard, so, and at one stage, someone actually put on one of the discussion groups for Sebastian about a helicopter, uh, not a helicopter, a helicopter or a plane circling the land of that route, a certain part of that route, it's circling back and forth over this certain part of land. Don't know what they're doing there. I bet you have, MG. Yeah, so you have at the same time as us. Any, like next Sunday, I won't be on because I'm going down to my daughter's. My Son, his wife, my two grandkids, and myself are going down to my daughter's for the day. So that will be nice. First time I've spent Easter with my daughter since she moved down there. I think, I can't remember her being up here on an Easter. I don't think she had. 
So I hope you're on next Sunday. But I will keep up to date. I'll be watching my phone. And I'll update on Twitter and Facebook and Instagram. I'm sure I will have an amazing time next week, next Sunday, with all my grandkids and my son and my daughter. Couldn't ask for anything more. So, as but as I said, my one son, grandson, my son's little boy, he's six years old, but I'm not joking. He's so tall, so darn tall. And so big with it. He's like, he's like the Hulk, little mini Hulk. Uh, I'll tell you something with me. I found out I thought my daughter, she was pregnant. I thought, yes, finally, I'm getting a grandchild. Then, literally, that was in the about six months later, I think it was. I'm going to July. July, August, September. Four months later, I found out my son's partner was pregnant. I went flipping how. It's like two buses coming along at the same time. I have both my children, my son and my daughter, both having children the same year. And it was just wonderful. I love having my grandkids and I love seeing my grandson down where he lives. I wouldn't be, I wouldn't change it for the world. And you are totally different. Like, you know how you were with your own children? You know, you can't have your, you know, you need to have your dinner first, then you can have your dessert. No way. If they don't want their dinner first, and they want dessert. <laughs> right? And they want dessert, they get dessert first. Especially when, it, especially when their parents aren't there. Like on a Friday night or Saturday night when I have Ellie. Uh, if he doesn't want his dinner first, he wants his dessert first. He can have his dessert first. So it's totally different as a grandmother. You, the rules are totally different than what it is as a mother with your own children. I love having my grandkids. But anyway, there, there's their house and it has got... I can't, that is definitely a camera. I didn't spot that. Why did I not spot that? But then again, I was looking on Google Maps. Perhaps this was before Google Maps went round. That was after they put... Perhaps they put that camera up after they'd been around doing the mapping. Do you know what I mean? I don't know how long they've lived in that house. I don't know when Google Maps actually went round mapping that area. So, but that is definitely a camera. And why weren't these two lights on on the night when Sebastian went missing? I know this one was. Because you see it in that light, in that video. And yet they keep saying there's no other lights on. But there is. And there's lights that come on over here somewhere as well. But look how close that property is to theirs. No privacy is there. You know, I'd be tempted to get a higher fence put along there because I like my privacy. I don't know what everyone else is like. I like my privacy. Yeah. But I love my, my grandkids and my daughter, my granddaughter, oh my God. She comes out with the, um, some some of the words she says, it's just like the Birmingham accent, the Brummy accent. And she gets that off her dad. Like we go, when we see someone, we go, hiya. Right? Well, actually, in Birmingham, when we walked along the road, when we was walking down the road, if someone was on, if we saw a friend on the other side of the road, we wouldn't wave, we wouldn't go, hi, 
we won't worry about them. It's just nod our head. It's like little nodding dog, like the nodding dog in the back of a car. That's what we'd like. It's just nod our heads as we saw each other. So, but yeah, if we dine in Birmingham, you go, hiya. Oh, yeah. And that's what she says. She goes, hiya. Oh, yeah. And I think, oh my God, that's a brummy accent there. But my grandson is, he's still delayed in his speech. He talks. Oh God, he talks. He don't have to talk, but. Come on, I've got 27 on YouTube. Let me say hello. Uh, he does talk. And sometimes he's sitting there thinking, just give me five minutes, please. Five minutes. You know what I mean? But he's not very clear in his words. Some of the words he is. Some of the words he isn't. So he is getting help with that. Oh, God, I'm trying to find something to eat. No, I don't want a hot sandwich. Oh, God. I like their sausage rolls, I'm listening. Get the four pack. <laughs> right. And, um, but no, it's totally, you, you, you be, I hope this, that time comes to you very soon, MG, because you'll not regret it. I love having my grandkids. I really do. They make you feel, it's like sometimes I feel so tired. Even when I've got my grandkids here, I feel so tired. But they just give you that bit more energy to get up and do what you've got to do. Do you know what I mean? They are just a joy. Anyway, what's happening with Sebastian? Anything. It's not come on you. I'm going to play some of this because this was from yesterday. Right. We'll just play some of this. We'll take, I've kept the sound off so we can see, just see them walking around. But I wouldn't want to be one of these searches because they've been all in these trees and everything looking. You know what I mean? They don't, they don't think, oh, that's too, we're not going in there. They are in there. Searching. And where are his, where's his mum? Oh, yeah. Somewhere with the five-wheeler. Don't know where, but they're somewhere. I'm sure someone will track them down. I'm sure someone will track them down. But this is what gets me mad. They can drive off now because they had that visit by two uh, agents or whatever, FBI agents or some the other day. Oh, they can get in their camper van or whatever and drive off. Now, they can leave their home now, but they can't leave their home. They couldn't leave their home before to go and help on the search. That's what got me mad. So, um, hang on, I'm going to put this full screen. Let's put this full screen. But I have got the sand off. But it's just unbelievable what they're doing. Please, if someone sees a uh, live come up about this, let me know so I can go and log into it. Because I'm checking everything on youtube uh, i don't know if they've got there yet let's just check this one
I'm going to take that one down because I don't know, I don't know what's going on there. YouTube, get a look. Any lives, come on. Jay Allah, you said you were doing, going live on this search. Right, we've got another one. Yeah, it isn't. Jay Allah. This is CJ on the search for Sebastian Rogers. I know, what the hell, right? You know what I mean? I do. Like, I was just helping with the Riley Strain stuff, and their parents were praising everybody for bringing attention and helping search, and, and I'm here to come up here and help, and it's like, what the hell? It's completely yeah. different. So, if you look on Google the Cajun, whatever. Yeah. I don't even know what I'm saying. Right? Cajun Navy. I apparently have a link to okay. for volunteers. All right. But I, I haven't seen, I've looked this morning. Okay. I haven't really seen JLR and all those guys doing any footage yeah. as far as anything. Well, I'm here to search, period, no matter, yeah. you know what I mean? I'm. Well, they were. I don't, even if. The couple of days they were all over in that Rockland. The Rockland? Rockland. <laughs> recreational area. Rockland. Let me write that down real quick. They were grouping at what they call the rudder. Ooh, hold on one second. Rockland. Recreational area. It's actually closed because okay. uh, it's a federal. Uh, oh. Area. And it's closed because in December tornadoes came through. Here. Right. So okay. I don't know if you've watched any of the footage. No. Those guys. I JLR didn't. was with them. Okay. And he has footage there of okay. it. Okay. Okay. What was there was a hit over there, but anyway, with dogs, but nobody ever checked them. Right. It so much yeah, it was dogs. like two days ago, right? Yeah. yeah. So much What's the other place you said? The brother is like a restaurant that's there on the lake that I think people were meeting for the last two days. Okay. Uh, to, you know, before they searched because they didn't want all those vehicles. Right. The right, right. On the other side of Dallas Road. Okay. I mean, yeah, but so. Today, fortunate, you know what I mean? Yeah. Especially when there's a missing child. I think the real dad yeah. is through that Facebook site. Whatever they are, maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 And he was, you know, kind of saying, let's leave it to the professionals now. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Pretty much has got full list of Yeah. Spring show. Yeah. You know, and she's like, 
I know she didn't want to say it out loud and she didn't. And she, she whispered, I know. And it's like, yeah, what the hell, man? Right. Yeah. Shout out to her. She's going to come in the community. Uh, she'll probably say, Hey, I'm the lady. Da, da, da. Go ahead and give her some love. Cause it takes special people like that to come up to strangers that don't even know you and are sitting there willing to talk to you. Like you're from across the street. So shout out to the community. Thank you. Yeah. And you make Beautiful people, people feel, you make everybody feel so at ease, CJ, that it, you know, that's why they talk to you because you're you're very comforting. Well, and she needed to know too that we're about peace, positivity, and progress. So yeah. we're not like a lot of them other YouTube channels out there. All yeah. right, so let me pull over here. We're going to regroup. She gave us two locations. One said that it was closed off because it's federal, but to go check out the restaurant on the lake called the Rudder. And that's where I want to take you guys next when we're going to get out and look around together. Mm -hmm. So they spot. were using. Sorry, I'm back. Yeah, that's a good spot. I missed that whole interaction. I'm so sorry. I'm working here in between. So uh, the rudder is a good spot too, because I believe that's where they also met the other day by the rudder. So there might be volunteers just hanging out. Okay. And I'm not sure if I missed something about street lights. Um, I just want to make sure that comment is highlighted because it says. Uh, I wasn't. I wasn't focused on street lights. I was focused on the house. That's not the only time we're going to be driving around. I'm just going to be giving it a little bit more. We're going to swing through again. I'm going to take some more. I'm going to give it a little more, and we're going just to go from there. Know, that's right. Yeah. Dad, I told them I need to. Hi, Tammy. Yes, I hope he's good. Baby girl ocean prayers that Sebastian is saying everyone be safe. Yeah. They're doing amazing work out there. They really are looking, going out there on the ground. Getting in the cars and driving for miles and miles to get to these places. Some of them are even going down by having to get a plane. Pardon me. Having to get a plane to get down there. Right? And I don't care if they're doing it for the views, the likes. You know what I mean? They're out there, they're, they're looking. Right? Some people might say, well, JL, I wasn't looking. Oh, he's looking. He's looking. Because I tell you, when he's on his lives and he's going around and he's filming, I don't know about you lot, but I'm sitting here watching it and I'm looking at every bit of land around him, as you can see from the camera. I'm looking. I'm not looking at him or anything. Um, and when he pans around and he sees the other people here, the sergeant, I'm not looking at them. I'm looking. And the bushes on the trees, is there any material that's been caught on the trees? Anything like that. Is there any disturbed ground? So, I'm a bit disappointed with JLR. He said he was going to be at this, on the search today and he was going live. So, I don't know where he is. Right. So, show is interesting. The only missing sign is in Proud for Child, and they haven't hung any flowers. You know what? I'm glad you mentioned that, Leslie. Thank you. Right? The only, they haven't put any of them signs in their garden. Now, what did they mention the other day in that, that live when they did their last interview? Not on a, a live. Not on a YouTube channel. It was with a YouTuber, but it was in their home, right? And they mentioned those songs that they put in the garden. Why haven't they got one in their garden? Have they got any of those posters on their car windows? 
Have they got any on that five wheeler? First sake, we're driving around with a five wheeler. They could have a poster in each of those windows. A poster on each side of their car on the back if need be. Side doors. Back side doors. But they haven't. Yeah, his mum made these yard signs, yet they haven't got one in their own garden. Oh, I've got, I've got a plug. Listen. You might hear my buzzer go soon on my flat because I've ordered some lunch. Mm. It doesn't make sense why they haven't got one up in their yard. Oh God. What was that? I've got so many YouTube you know, seen you so that's another one, yeah. I haven't known. And I have watched so many drive around. I was watching uh JLR the other day driving around. I even showed it on my live. And I didn't see not one sign in any of those gardens. So where are these signs? Have they even handed any out to their neighbours to put in their garden? Because I know if I lived down there and I knew that had happened and I knew they had these garden signs, I'd actually go up and knock on their door and ask for one. If they hadn't come to me asking me, I'd be knocking on their door asking for one. Why? I don't know where this is. Where is going on this? There. Is that on that construction site? He's driving along. See, young in, in these gardens, I'm sure if Daddy knocked on their doors and said, Look, my son's missing, and we've got a search going for him, could you put one of these in your garden? Right? They, I'm sure, I'm, I don't think they're going to say, No, I'm not having that in my garden. No. I mean, they're going to go, yes, yeah, sure, yeah, let me go do it now. I had a case over here in England, Nicola Bully. I don't know if anyone heard about that case. All her friends were standing, friends and family, were standing on this one main road where there's a lot of traffic. And this was the uh, walkway, the pathway where she walked the dog by the river. And their friends and family stood out there saying, with signs up saying, with a picture, have you seen Nicola Bully? Have you an information and all this stuff? They stood there day after day after day with these signs. But she looked like the election, election season with signs everywhere, especially in that, yeah, especially in their own neighborhood. Exactly. I can't see. And to be honest with you, what home owners association would stop you putting a little sign, a, a small sign up in your garden? I mean, um, I said that, I said, I don't live it uh, uh, as a mother of an autistic child or not. No way. How would that have to freeze over first before any police officer told me to stay at home? It'd be over my dead, flipping 
body. I will be out there from dawn to dusk every flippy day, just like the father is there. You know what I mean? It's I don't I don't I don't know where their brains are. What what thinking is going what is going through their brains? I've been told, been told to move away because there's a danger for them. And that's why they've got up and in the van, hooked the van up and gone. I don't know. But I swear to God, when I see that Nancy, because what she does, she'll release like a podcast and then she releases, then release the video because they do it all recording, they don't do it actual live. And she will, she'll release the video. So I'll say both the recording and the video. But that won't be, be too late to that comes out if anything Maybe a non profit organization that is assisted in the missing college student Rory Strain in Nashville is assisting law enforcement in the search for Rogers. An Amber Alert was issued for Woodlock Rogers last month. The autistic team have disappeared from the Sumner County home on February the 26th. Now, I don't know what the date is today. Hello. Twenty fifth. So tomorrow will be a month. A month. One month has been gone. Right? Now the non profit group is asking for volunteers to help in the search for Rogers. In a Facebook post Monday morning, the United Cajun Navy says volunteers will be will help law enforcement find Sebastian. UCA has brought in search dogs since Saturday and we will bring in more. Those wishing to help are asked to sign up as a volunteer here. Now this was on their Facebook page. So if anyone wants to help, this is where you sign up. Right? So they're now asking for volunteers to sign up. Where the other day they say, uh, we are asking the searchers to step down and let us do our job. So what do they want? They want us to search? They don't want us to search. Well, I'm sorry, the searches are still going on. The searches are still going on. And in that one video I was showing this morning of the guy with the uh, TikTok, The woman said that Seth, the father, was told that he could bring two cars, two vehicles in, right, to, to do the search. It did not state how many people in each vehicle. It didn't say, oh, you can only bring two other people or five other people. It didn't state that. It stated that it could bring two vehicles in. Well, he's got a truck. How many can you get in the back of that truck, I wonder? You know what I mean? So look at these pages here. Oh, there's only two of them. Look at it. Look. That's nice. Oh, God. My son's got a snake, but nothing the size of that one. Nothing. And I'm 
10 o'clock at least night. I remember once we went to this guy's house and um, we went there because we was getting a tarantula. I found out literally hours, a couple of hours before we went to get the tarantula. Good job I wasn't a driver because I just slammed my flipping brakes on. Anyway, so we go out to the house and I'm sitting in the living room and the guy comes in and they'd set it up. They'd set it up for me and he put his hand out to say hello to me and automatically I went to put my hand out and I noticed I'm not swear to God I'm not lying here. He had this snake bigger than that one wrapped around his arm and it was going around his neck and down his other arm wrapped around it and i said no no and i'm backing up now this guy lived on a three-story lived in a, a three-story flat so he's like the third floor up and he's coming here and i said please please don't come any nearer because i will climb out this window i will climb out this window to get away from that and he kept on, I said, please, please don't come any near. And I'm literally opening the window to climb out of it. And that's when my husband's at the top, right? So I said, no, okay, back off. She's going to, she's going to climb out that window. And I was that sort of person. If I said something, I would do it. And I was going to climb out that flipping window if it come any closer to me. Oh, I hate it. I really really don't like snakes, but look, look how look, yeah, yeah, it's on there, that's all. Look how happy he is there. Yeah, Tammy, nice to see his dad, as a mother, I don't know, I would be out there going, yes, his dad has been out there every day, every day. His feet are so sore now through blisters. He's done some injury to his shoulder the other day. Don't know what he done to his shoulder the other day, but he did do something the other day. So so while we're waiting, please think about Right. Um, can't understand me, Wanda. I've got I'm silent at the moment, the video, because I'm waiting. I can put one video on, I suppose. This guy there, so we'll put it on. Let's see, is there a place I can pull over here? Or here, I'll just upload them. Actually, what's the address for the router? Hi there, Courtney. Hold on. <clears throat> And I'll just upload them when I get there, because I got to use the other phone for, for my map, I guess. That's 126 River Drive. 126. River Drive, Road, sorry, River, River Road. River Road. Yes, Hendersonville. All right. Sorry, Clue. Uh, uh, I was going to upload them, but then I'm like, shit, I need to use my phone for my GPS. So I'm just going to take, wow, 13 minutes. All right, hold on. It takes 13 minutes to hold on the way. That will upload you. And then continue my drive. You guys. Going out the router and
out again. I wait because I took one there. There's you. Uh, the first one I would look at is the one with the driveway. I tried to take more. I tried to take more. Care wasn't clear. Yeah, okay. So there's this. I wonder where his bedroom was. It looks like it, yeah. Somebody go ahead and zoom in. Yeah, if you save them, you can zoom in to them if you save them. It looks like seemingly there is a camera on the on the side. I'm trying to figure out how to zoom in. If I, you got to save them to zoom, to zoom up the photo. I would just make like a folder because I'm going to be taking more pictures. Just make a little. And then that will allow you to zoom in and move around. Uh, 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 I mean, that is so. But by some of the truth, you know. Well, I mean. It's like on a bottle. You still have to play the whips on these. Uh, Right. Yeah, it's yeah. I'm trying to ban this person, but I, every time I, I instead of there's a yeah. I can do this with you that you said he'll ski. This is a outputting thing about to find to find, you know, Sebastian. Okay, I didn't even see what they typed. Uh, hey Samantha, go ahead and ban that one.
Yeah, you'd have to go to your. You would have to be on your your YouTube in order to ban. You have to go to your YouTube real quick and scroll up and then click for comment to do it. It's probably would yeah, be beneficial I for your community to do that. You know what I mean? Just take thirty seconds to. Yeah, I had tried from my phone. All right, That's I why I have mine. Um, let's see. Right, It'll be quiet. No, it's uh, it's just, it's, no. When I'm like trying to like discuss trolls for a kind of track, but you guys can talk about blueberry muffins and dandelions and shit. That's totally fine. It ain't gonna distract me. It's about what's going on why don't you watch the riley strain uh vigil where the family spokesperson actually thanked everybody and it was a, it was a no, I missed the turn again. 
the, the person who typed that. This guy that. is dreadful. He keeps missing his turns and taking the wrong turn. But I'd just like to say, I would highlight it. When it shows up. Thank you, everyone. Everyone for subbing up. Everyone for being in the chat. So thank you very much. I'll tell you, they, I've been kicked off, I think, three times now. Three times I've been kicked off screen yard. So, oh, I think what I might do is finish this live, have a break for an hour or so, have some lunch. And just do a bit of a housework, general clean up, and then come back on. But I will be keeping an eye out for any searches going on, so that we can go straight back into the search. Okay. So yeah, we are having a bit of bad weather today, but we also have a lot of strong, strong winds, and that doesn't help. With the signals and everything so you can have tornadoes like over there or what is it they're called tornadoes and like that you don't get them but we do get very strong winds which do and i live where i live i'm not far from a park area a play area big park land right and when we get strong winds, you know, because you walk through the forest bit and you see all these big trees over the drive over the pathway, and you're having to climb over these big trunks to get across and continue your work. So I'm gonna what I'll do, I'll have a break for an hour just so that I can finish my lunch and um do what I need to do around my house, and then I'll be back on. So hopefully, I will be back on, and hopefully you will all be here with me. Thank you all for signing up. Thank you for being here with me. And thank you, MG. Thank you for noticing all this going on. I only notice all that once I've finished, when I come up alive. So I will be back on. Uh, I'll give you plenty of notice. I'll give you at least half hour notice as when I'm going to be back on. Okay, I might even set the live up now when I come up here, set it up again. So you've got a good hour's notice to let you know when the live's coming back on again. So until then, I'd just like to say thank you so much to everyone. I want some comments. Thank you. When StreamYard will let me open it up. You're not working tonight, MG. Oh, right, well, okay. Well, I'll see you later. Oh, I'll see you later. I'll see you in about an hour's time, an hour, okay? So thank you all for being here once again. If you haven't already, right, if you haven't already, then I can get there. Please. Like, hit that bell, subscribe. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Till later. Bye.